Okay, today, guys, I'm going to show you a demonstration on how you should, or how I would personally recommend loading editions. Like a rich arrangement of things I personally would like to have. But, if you do take this video as a guide, you're welcome. So, I'm going to tell you the steps of where things should be, which racks should certain things be in. Should there be cups in the bottom or should it be in the top? You can put cups in the bottom, that's a thing, but do make sure that these are flat. You don't want the ponds touching the, you know, basically make these flat so that the cups don't get any marks from the prawns touching it. If they're flat, it'll, it'll clean it, but it won't make any marks. However, this is not going to be put in the lower. We're actually going to deal with the lower act first, but I, no, actually, let's just do the upper act first. So, I've got bowling, that's not important. What's important is that I'll show you now what we put in the upper. Basically, I'd say you should put cups, mugs, bowls, etc. in the upper rack. It does not matter how you load it. Mug next to a cup, what is it going to do? It won't make a difference. So we're just going to, you know, get it loaded. Just make sure you don't overload the machine. Because if you overload, you're not going to get clean dishes. Because the water goes upwards, not downwards. So, if you block something, the water won't be able to access it, and therefore you're going to have big problems. Having the dishwasher get a bit of a hard time trying to clean it off. If it's lightly sold like this, it can also go in the upper rack. A dishwasher like this is very useful because it has a flat space, so things like this can easily fit in. Um, and if I was, and I would highly recommend that you check the dining room and all that, because if you do have some people that tend to leave cups, mugs and all in here, yeah, and this is an example of people that do that, as you can see, but this is not a problem, I can easily just take these away, now when carrying a cup, I'll, like most people will say be careful, well, I'm always careful. I have accidentally smashed glasses before, but accidents happen. Now, I can't fold these tights, so if, so if you can't fold the tights, it's okay. Mugs, cups can go on there. You just might not get, um, you might get like a little mark where the prawn touched the, what would be called, but it will still clean it, it will still wash it like it's supposed to, as you have not overloaded it, all you've done is put it on the prawn, but that isn't going to cause any poor cleaning. What causes poor cleaning is, very surely, is where people do overload the machine. With overloading these dishwashers, it's not a good thing. You should never overload a dishwasher. Uh, you should always just make sure that you, if you can, help not overload it. Because overloading it can cause some big problems. So, just be aware. Oh yeah, and you're wondering what plug that goes to. Just the blender, or whatever you call that. Anyway, that's not important. I'm going to pre-scrape and then I'm going to show you 
in the lower rack, what you're supposed to wash there. And yes, this is personally my arrangement, but if you, again, as I said, taking this as a guide, I would highly recommend cups mugs in the upper bowls, uh, cutlery, sharp knives, wide flat ways can go up here. Wine glasses I hold can hold in here, etc. And then in the bottom, I would recommend pots, pans, again cutlery, plates, bowls as well. And in any case scenario, if you really have to do it, mugs and cups. If your dishwasher has a third drawer that comes out with a cutlery wrap tray, then in the lower rack you could just put your pan, pots, dishes, and cups, mugs. Make sure that your products are dishwasher safe. Take this wooden dessert bowl. This cannot go in the dishwasher. The dishwasher will actually damage the bowl and cause it to crack, which can be a very bad thing, especially if you enjoy using these kinds of materials. But just don't put them in the dishwasher. I've seen it happen before and the results aren't very good. I'll be back once I'm pretty swept, and then we can show you what should be in the lower rack. So I'll be back in one second. I'm going to show you that this can go in the upper rack. You can place it anywhere, just don't overload, just, you know, like that will just be fine. That's, now I just need to continue pre scrape. I'm now going to explain also why pre scraping is so important. Grease scraping is very important due to, because the thing is, if you don't pre scrape your spray arms in your filter, they're going to get blocked. And sometimes the filter gets so blocked, and sometimes the filter gets so blocked that it will actually end up not draining the water. Spray arms get blocked, it won't wash as well. So that's the basics on why you should pre scrape. Don't pre-rinse. Pre-rinsing is not necessary. It's a waste of water because the dishwasher tablets have enzymes in them to break down the food and to wash it off and to kill the germs. If you don't do, if you do pre-wash, it will actually end up the enzymes will target the surface of your dishes and everything that you put in, etc., which can then really, really, then that can lead to such things as damaged. Damaged dishes and you know everything that you put in can get damaged because you pre-washed it and you did not let the tablet target the food. You let the tablet target the surface of everything that was in the dishwasher. Another thing that's really important: don't use washing up liquid. Washing up liquid is going to end up oversensing and it will actually end up damaging the dishwasher. Probably you'll end up with foam everywhere and you'll suffer some very severe damage to the machine. So please, on all basics, no matter the dishwasher you have, make sure you don't put in dishwasher liquid. I've never made that mistake myself, but there's people out there have, that have made the mistake before, and it's a messy mistake. I can't be responsible if you do put washing up liquid in, but I'm really advising you here, do not, on any circumstance or, or any time you use a dishwasher, don't ever put washing up liquid in. You can use gel, powder and tablets specifically made for the dishwasher, just don't use washing up liquid. It is made for washing up dishes, it's not made for the dishwasher. Dishwashers don't use that. Because the thing is with washing up liquid, it is so much more concentrated than a dishwasher tablet, powder or gel. And you'll be surprised just how much more concentrated it actually is. 
believe it or not, it is so much more concentrated. So, yeah. Well, guys, now I'm going to show you what you should be putting in the lower mat. Oh, whoops. I need to put that somewhere else. Yeah, if something knocks over, don't risk um, leaving it there because it will, you'll risk damaging it. So, if something does knock over in the upper mat when you shut it, just please make sure that you do not leave it or re put it there because it will probably fall over during the wash and it could get damaged. Now, there were chunks in here and now there's no more bits of food. So what you can do now is put one pot where the folded tides are. Pot, bronze, actually, the proper name. If you literally have a special jack, like this hot point, then you can actually put this over here and the 3D zone will do the work for you. It will clean your pot really nicely. And yes, it is called 3D Zone on this dishwasher. But other dishwashers might call it something else like Turbo Zone, um, Turbo Wash. Now, a little bit of food is alright, it'll get caught in the field. And now, simple as that, you've got the pots in. Now, pan. Well, uh, not pan, so plates. You can put plates anywhere you really want, but do make sure you don't put, make sure they have adequate space to get the water into it. Like I'm doing there. And if you want, on one side, you could do big plates, like I'm doing here. Now, this was just have more jets than they did before, so you, you should do better cleaning. As simple as that, you've got that all in. And if you want to move other plates to a different location, because maybe you want to put the country basket there, and that is something you can do. Because we're going to actually use the country basket today. Your, your lids, two pots, they can go anywhere. They put all over. Just make sure they're not blocking the spray. Now, I tend to keep my wrap dishwasher basket in my room. So, we're going to pop up here. And it should be over here. There we go. Oh, it nearly fell over. Ooh. This. this is what it looks like on different models of dishwashers you are going to have slightly different baskets but there's some things you probably didn't know about these dishwasher baskets if you have just bought your brand new hot point dishwasher or you bought a new hot point dishwasher you're going to find that cutlery baskets tend to open like this so you get one. Let me show you how I'm doing this. I can't do this single handed. There you go. Yeah. So basically, what you do is you put one, you hold it with this hand, and you hold, put your two fingers like this. You, or two fingers actually here. And then it should come up just like that. You slide it to back. And then if you want to use your basket like this, that's all set. You can do the same for the other end. It's not just one end. And it's the same way. 
exactly the same way. If you want to use it like this, you can. But I personally like to use it like that. If you want it like that, then you just pull it back up, press it down, and you've got it just the way you want it. And the cutting basket belongs right here. That's where it belongs, and that's where it's going to go. I'm not really happy about that dish being there. There's a bit of food. Oh. Yeah. This dish can now go over here. There you go. Now with cutlery, anything with wooden handles should not be dishwashed. Anything with these wooden handles should just be hand washed. Sharp knives can go blunt if you put in the dishwasher. I know this, don't ask me why. But the rest here can go in. Not what's there, but what's here can all go in. So let's start by doing the spoons. I personally like to do one thing and then move on to the next batch of things. But basically, you just put your. You basically just put each spoon in one of these grids. And when the cycle starts to spray, should start washing this all off. Then the next thing you do is get what you want to put in the holes or the back next. And then you do that. Now the, the little holes at the bottom down there, it's like an extra filter. So it will stop any bits of food from the knives or from going into the actual visual. If that is necessary, you can do it. I only did it because it was a bit of food, which would have only got hot. But I'd rather be safe than sorry. And there you go. That's my guide to how you should be doing a dishwasher. If you book, took it as a guide, congratulations. Um, I can only hope for you that your new dishwasher will do as good of a job as mine. As my dishwasher cleans very well. Um, and if you did take this as a video that you just watched for fun, then I'm glad that I was entertained to you. So, yeah. But I'm not going to go just yeah. I need to show you a few extra. Like putting the tablet in and then selecting the appropriate cycle. I'll be back once I get to that. Alright, now to finish off, I'm going to show you what you should do before you select the cycle and what the appropriate detergent actually looks like. So, First off, check your spoons. If they're blocked or obstructed, they can be. They could end up not cleaning properly, and yeah. Also, clean and clean your spoons and filter each cycle to keep the dishwasher working at its optimum performance. Um, and. This is what you need to do to check the spells. Just spin them. That one's good. Now, if it got blocked, it would not spin like that. It would end up hitting something, which then could result into poor cleaning. Now, with the other rack. Now, with the 
And again, the example of a good sperm, which you just saw. So now, detergent. This is the appropriate detergent. It looks like this. So this is what they call a dishwasher tablet. And that's what's appropriate for a dishwasher. So if you have a dishwasher or this is your first time owning the dishwasher, that's the tablet you should get. You can get any company tablets, but they must be dishwasher tablets, dishwasher powder, or dishwasher gel. To maintain your dishwasher, make sure you fill it up with rinse aid in the second compartment just there and uh, salt which I'm going to show you in a minute Should have clicked like you just heard, and then yeah. So selecting the well, actually, I was going to show you the salt first. So just just there is your salt, and that is where additional salt will be placed, and that will soften the water and keep your dishwasher working at optimum performance. Along with the rinse side, which goes in there, and you can see inside the rinse side sits just down there below the grid. The tablet's in, so what you need, that, and that's a pre wash, you can put pre wash in there. Now, next thing to do is choose your appropriate cycle. Usually, the appropriate cycles are mostly for this kind of load an auto normal because auto normal is like made for this daily kind of wash and it will regulate and it will make sure that it gets everything clean by sensing and detecting what's dirty and what and how dirty they are if you use tablets do be sure to use the tablet light however if you don't use tablets and you use powder or gel you don't need your light on I have it on because I use tablets. And as you can see, it does have the inverter.